what do you think is what do you think is really happening in this world like you know most conventional people are under the impression that it's if you have depression or anxiety or some sort of illness it's either you know you've caught a bacteria or you have neurotransmitter imbalance what what do you feel if you had to take a big step back and see it all do you think it's a matter of light versus dark what, what, what's the, the biggest scope you can say that's happening on the world well uh, of course you know that's um I, I could give many answers uh, uh, to that, but I think um, light versus dark um, is the shortest way of expressing it. You know, I, I in, in different lectures that I give, you know, so th I make it very clear. We don't have to go into the details. In uh, Rudolf Steiner, you know, the the Austrian uh, mystic that was very active in the early part of the last century, the, the founder of Waldorf schools and biodynamic farming and, and a, a completely new kind of alternative medicine. He um, predicted, you know, that uh, towards the end of last century and the beginning of the century, there will be a movement driven by big corporations to take the soul away from people, to disconnect people from the higher world. And in order to do that, we have to um, destroy the pineal gland in people. And I followed the research on that, and amazingly what we found, uh, the pineal gland is the most sensitive part of our central nervous system, and is highly, highly, highly sensitive to four things. Aluminum, <laughs> glyphosate, fluoride, and Wi-Fi. And we are the only country in the world that has pushed these four things in the last 60 years or so on everybody growing up here. And so what I feel, what I observe, and what we're also testing on our ART system is that people have calci severely calcified uh, pineal glands. And uh, I, I show the anatomy in some of my courses, you know, it's very clear that the pineal gland is a receiver for higher fields of energy and translates them into thought and into actually controlling our uh, immune system, our endocrine system, and, and so on and so forth. There's all science, you know, but very few people pay attention to science anymore, especially since Donald Trump <laughs> and his disregard for science. Um, we, it's become the new norm, and so. Um, it, it is astounding that the telecommunications industry has selected the frequencies out of the huge spectrum of frequencies that are absolutely destructive to our cells and especially to the pineal gland. You know, you couldn't have made any better choices than 2.4 gigahertz. Um, that the end point that when you have inhaled aluminum, as we do from the geoengineering program, and uh, have glyphosate in the food chain, that glyphosate and aluminum combine in the blood and in the, in the gut and in the bloodstream to form six different uh, chemical compounds uh, that where aluminum and glyphosate are hooked up together. And the end point of that compound is the pineal gland. It's published, you know, it's not my idea. And uh, what is needed for this compound to actually enter the brain is to open up the blood-brain barrier and the current frequencies in the Wi-Fi world are exactly doing that to open the blood-brain barrier so toxins that used to stay in the bloodstream and in the body below the neck are now entering the brain very freely that, that applies to all toxins um, and so it's a new time in that way you know and so and um, when you think this through um, you come to the conclusion that either there must, be, there must have been an ultra-intelligence group of scientists who have designed this protocol to fluoridate the drinking water, to put nanonized aluminum in the air, to put glyphosate in the food, and then activate it, spark it with the right frequencies. It almost... I could... It took me 20 years to figure out the perfect storm that is created there. And it's either a coincidence, which is possible, that enough dumb people made the wrong choices, you know, along the years. I'm still hoping that that may be at least part partially true, 
or it's orchestrated by a very, very intelligent group of destructive minds. Or what I also believe is very possible that there are some higher fields of consciousness that can be both tuned into the light and to life affirmative action and can be absolutely destructive, like phenomena like Adolf Hitler and others, people that come under the influence of something absolutely dark and destructive. And I do believe it's very possible that enough scientists and politicians have come under the influence of those higher fields and are acting according to it, actually not knowing on a human level why they're doing what they're doing and what they're doing. You know, that the, now be, you know, be, a good example is 5G, you know, sort of um, to put it on posts, you know, along the streets. Okay, that's one issue, but putting it on satellite and actually the government approving to put it on satellite, I mean, blasting the whole planet with the frequency that has never been checked for safety for its influence on the insects, on the songbirds, on the has never been checked for anything and to approve that is co unconceivable to like somebody who's still got a little bit of a brain left and uh, that uh, politicians in the White House and other countries are conspiring or with that um, can only be explained that their brains have come under the influence of some larger, higher field. Uh, there cannot be human in nature, you know, because the, the human nature is always life affirmative and loving and wanting to, wanting to live and make the biosphere more friendly to life. And so, so there is some scary thoughts about that, you know. But I'm still hoping. I'm still putting my weight on. Let's hope. It's just a coincidence and enough dumb people made enough dumb decisions and and um, if enough of us wake up and point it out to them that there can be a reversal. You know, the Wi-Fi can be switched off in a second. <laughs> We'd be done with that and, you know, glyphosate could be forbidden, you know, tomorrow. It's in a water table for many years, but there could be an end uh, to it, you know. the chemtrail program could be stopped like that you know so the the good thing is that um, solutions positive solutions that are suppressed right now that are everywhere could be the norm of tomorrow within 24 hours we could turn the planet from um, a creature that is threatened on all levels to paradise you know virtually within 24 hours you know we're still close enough to that.